Today is a big day. We are kicking off my 10 day contract with the Orlando Magic. Hopefully we can turn that to a year or even a max. I don't know if that's possible, but right now we have 15 KVC. And I want to go ahead and change up the way I look in the park and also the cutscenes. And the way I got my 15k coins, or should I say BC, one, I got the 10k, uh, you get this code from the game itself. If you bought the game, it comes with a code inside. And uh, the KD uh, MVP bonus pack and all that good stuff, that came with the pre-order. If you pre-order the game, it comes with a code. The only thing is, there's hardly any accessories available for your my player right now. I don't know what is going on with that. I don't know when they're going to unlock it. But my free throw is going to be LeBron James. My shooting form right now is going to be Kobe Bryant. Layup, I went ahead and kept it kind of... I, I, I stayed kind of cheap. Went with Rajon Rondo. Fadeaway is going to be Dwayne Wade. Here's basically the rest of the signature styles if you want to go ahead and use it for your player. It took me about like 20 minutes to come up with these. I want to make sure everything is perfect because you guys know... You don't start out at a really high overall. You're gonna struggle at first, especially these 10, actually five games. It's a 10 day contract, but it's five games that you have to prove everyone wrong. So since I have about 11K VC left, I went ahead and upgraded my jump shooter. And this is gonna upgrade your mid range, shot close, free throw, standing shot, moving shot three, all that good stuff. The next thing that I want to improve is the athlete category, which is gonna improve your standing dunk, driving dunk, speed, quickness, vertical, strength, stamina, and hustle. So I quickly jumped to 67 overall. I think right now we are where we need to be. I'm getting 11. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm 11th in minutes. I actually get eight minutes per game. Kevin Durant is leading the league in scoring. No one is surprised at that. Uh, as far as the rookie report goes, Jabari Parker is doing his thing. A. Wiggins is at third. Shabazz Napier is up there playing for the Miami Heat. Julius Randle, and I'm going down the list to see where Aaron Gordon is. And he came in 10th. He has... 9.6 points per game right now we are struggling six and 41 record here in the southeast division eastern conference is where everyone is currently at we're nowhere to be found so i don't know now a lot of you are probably like wait how have the orlando magic already played 47 games that's how it happened. That's how my career story is for me right now. It just put me into this scenario. I kind of like it. I kind of like it right now because you're in the middle of the season. I don't know where or what is going to happen next. So you're the rookie that's going to shock the world, huh? Sure as heck going to try. Good. I'm glad you're here. Just remember, it's all out there for you. Work hard. Listen, watch how we do, and you got a chance to be something special. Now let's see what you got. Thanks. I'm happy to be here, man. I'm pumped. Let's do it. Grizzlies look to take charge at the FedEx Forum, and we're going to bring it to you live from Memphis, Tennessee. The Magic made a special trip here for one game back in Orlando for the next one. Looking at where they've been, guys, where they're headed right now, hard to say exactly considering they have not played that well. You're up. Let's go. Time to do my thing. Oh, look who's coming off the bench. This is an iconic moment, but I do have to wait until there's a dead play for me to check in. And right now the score is 18 of 15, so we're doing good. And it's against the Memphis Grizzlies. We're played terrible so far, but we're doing good here. And you see right here, they get the rebound. I think that's Courtney Lee. And automatically they call a timeout. Which means that I am coming into the game. Guarding Mike Conley. And he's already going to work. Here's my first opportunity to do something. Running a play here. Giving a pass to Fournier. Let me go to my corner. Fournier gives it to O'Quinn. He pulls up for the jump shot. Nice jump shot by him. So it's 20 to 17. He kicks to Conley. Conley. Four seconds left here in the first quarter. Conley. Conley gets blocked. Get that out of here. Let me do them with tumble fingers. And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Magic lead by three. What a way to end the first quarter. What kind of screen is that? At least face the other direction. Okay, let's run a quick play right here. I see. Is that Fournier in the corner? But Vince Carter. 
Went right back in there. Oh, Tayshaun Prince could not keep up with me. What a crossover right there. Headed to the free throw line. Again, another iconic moment I get to have. My first point in the NBA. Let's tune into the commentators and see what they have to say about me. Randolph and Gasol down. And mark that bucket down, folks. That's the first career basket from Boss. Basket is your first basket. I mean, you're just happy to be a part of it out there. Yeah, I would hope he wouldn't complain. He's now officially... Four minutes back. left here in the half. Marcus Gasol. He I pulls really up for the jump the shot. Give me that. That is my second rebound of the, of the day. Vucevic now. Dangerous pass to Harkless. I'm pulling up for the wide open three. We're just over Tony, two guys, we have a lot of point. work. Look at this. No and that is going to be it for me. Coach was like, put that man on a bench. You know what? I don't mind. Okay, guys, let's focus and get down to business. Now, here's a few things I took away from the first half. Very nice offensive first half from the reserves. You guys had a big impact. We'll be coming back to you in the second half. If we go out there and show the killer instinct I know we have, this is not a team that can stay with us. Let's up that intensity. Coach brought me back into the game with like two minutes left here. A little more than that. And something I want to share with you guys is last year, if you guys followed me last year with 2K14, my career with my point guard, I was, you know, doing a lot of scoring. A lot of times it got kind of unrealistic, even though it is a video game. But this year, I want to stay true to my position. I want to be play more like a point guard instead of, you know, dropping like 70 points per game, which I barely did last year. I got close, though. I scored like 50 points per game in the postseason. It was crazy. But this year, you guys know what I'm trying to say with this. I want to play more realistic, play more of a true point guard. That's how, yeah, true point guard. So with two seconds left, I had nowhere to go. Great defense by Mike Conley. That is that. Where are we headed after this? Four more games left in our 10-day contract. Let's see what's going to happen. The bad news is you played like a 50-year-old rec league bum, and we lost the game. You're supposed to ask me what the good news is. What's the good news? Good news is I don't think it's possible for you to play any worse. Is this supposed to be making me feel better? Nah, man. It's supposed to make you understand that it ain't just you. We all got work to do if we're going to do something special. So put this one behind you, learn from it, and move on, all right? Well, maybe if I got the ball in my spots where I could do something with it, we would have won the game and we wouldn't be having this conversation. In this league, never get too high or too low, and you might survive. Turn on your teammates, man, you'll be gone before you know it.